This is a chronological listing of biographies of the Islamic prophet Muhammad, ranging from the earliest traditional writers to modern times. <laughs> earliest biographers The following is a list of the earliest known hadith collectors who specialized in collecting Sira and Maghazi reports. Topic: Seventh and early eighth century, first century of Hijra. Saul ibn Abi Hathma d. in Muawiyah's reign, i.e., 41–60 AH, was a young companion of Muhammad. Parts of his writings on Maghazi are preserved in the Ansab of al baladari the Tabakat of Ibn Sa'd, and the works of Ibn Jarir al-Tabari and al-Waqidi. Abdullah ibn Abbas d. 78 Ah, a companion of Muhammad, his traditions are found in various works of Hadith and Sirah. Sa'id ibn Sa'd ibn Ubada al-Khazraji, another young companion, his writings have survived in the Musnad of Ibn Hanbal and Abi Iwana, and al-Tabari's Tariq. Urwa ibn al-Zubair d. 713. He wrote letters replying to inquiries of the Umayyad caliphs, Abd al-Malik ibn Marwan and al-Walid I, involving questions about certain events that happened in the time of Muhammad. Since Abd al-Malik did not appreciate the Maghazi literature, these letters were not written in story form. He is not known to have written any books on the subject. He was a grandson of Abu Bakr and the younger brother of Abdullah ibn al-Zubair. Sa'id ibn al-Masib al-Makhzumi d. 94 AH, a famous tabi and one of the teachers of ibn Shihab al-Zuri. His traditions are quoted in the six major hadith collections, and in the Sira works of Ibn Ishaq, Ibn Sa'id al-Naz, and others. Abu Fadala Abd Allah ibn Ka B ibn Malik al-Ansari d. 97 A. His traditions are mentioned by Ibn Ishaq and al-Tabari. Abin ibn Uthman ibn Affan d. 101–105 ah, the son of Uthman. His traditions are transmitted through Malik ibn Anas in his Mawata, the Tabakat of ibn Sa'd, and in the histories of al-Tabari and al-Yaqubi. Amir ibn Sharahil al Shah Bai, d. 103 Ah, his traditions were transmitted through Abu Ishaq al Subai, Sa'id ibn Masruk al Thari, al A Mash, Qatada, Mujalid ibn Sa'id, and others. Eighth and early 9th century, second century of Hijra. Al Qasim ibn Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr, d. 107 Ah, another grandson of Abu Bakr. His traditions are mainly found in the works of Al Tabari, Al Balathori, and Al Waqidi. Wahb ibn Munabi d. during 725 to 737 or 114 A. Several books were ascribed to him, but none of them are now extant. Some of his works survive as quotations found in works by Ibn Ishaq, Ibn Hisham, Ibn Jarir al-Tabari, Abu Nu Aym al-Isfahani, and others. Ibn Shihab al-Zuri d. c. 
737, a central figure in Sira literature, who collected both Ahadith and Akbar. His Akbar also contain chains of transmissions, or Isnad. He was sponsored by the Umayyad court and asked to write two books, one on genealogy and another on Maghazi. The first was cancelled and the one about Maghazi is either not extant or has never been written. Musa ibn Uqba, a student of al-Zuri, wrote Kitab al-Maghazi, a notebook used to teach his students, now lost. Some of his traditions have been preserved, although their attribution to him is disputed. Muhammad ibn Ishaq d. 767 or 761, another student of al-Zuri, who collected oral traditions that formed the basis of an important biography of Muhammad. His work survived through that of his editors, most notably Ibn Hisham and Ibn Jarir al-Tabari. Abu Ishaq al-Fazari wrote Kitab al-Sayyar. Others CE. Zubair ibn al-Awam, the husband of Asma bint Abi Bakr. Aban ibn Uthman ibn Affan, the son of Uthman wrote a small booklet. Al-Shabi Hamam ibn Munabi, a student of Abu Huraira Asim ibn Umar ibn Qatada al-Ansari Mamar ibn Rashid al-Azdi, pupil of al-Zuri Abdul Rahman ibn Abdul Aziz al-Ausi, pupil of al-Zuri Muhammad ibn Salah ibn Dinar al-Tamar was a pupil of al-Zuri and mentor of al-Waqidi. Hashim ibn Urwa ibn Zubair, son of Urwa ibn Zubair, generally quoted traditions from his father but was also a pupil of al-Zuri. Yaqub bin Utba ibn Mugira ibn al aknas ibn Shariqu al Thakafi Abu Mashar Naji al Madani Ali ibn Mujahid al Razi al Kindi Al Bakai was a disciple of Ibn Ishaq and teacher of Ibn Hisham and thus forms a very important link in Sirah between two great scholars. Abdul Malik Ibn Hisham, his work incorporated the text of Ibn Ishaq, he was a pupil of al Bakai. Salama ibn al Fadl al Abrash al Ansari, pupil of Ibn Ishaq. Al Waqidi, whose surviving works, Kitab al Tariq wa al Maghazi, Book of History and Campaigns, and Futu al Sham have been published. Abu Isa Muhammad al Tirmidhi wrote compilations of Shamail, characteristics of Muhammad. Ibn Sa'd wrote the eight volume work called Tabakat or the Book of the Major Classes. He was also a pupil of al Waqidi. Imam al Bayhaqi wrote Dalail al Nabuwa, Proof of Prophethood. Muhammad ibn Jarir al Tabari wrote the well known work History of the Prophets and Kings, whose earlier books include The Life of Muhammad, which cite Ibn Ishaq. Abu Sa'd al Nasabori wrote Sharif al Mustafa. Abu Nu'ayym wrote Dalail al Nubuwa. Al Asbahani wrote Dalail al Nubuwa. Al Bagawi wrote Al Anwar fi Shamail al Nabi al Mukhtar. 
Faryabi wrote Dalail al Nubuwa. Later writers and biographies, 1100 to 1517 CE. Al Hafiz Abdul Mumin al Dimyati wrote the book Al Muktasar fi Surati Sayyid Kare al Bashar, but is commonly referred to as Sira of al Dimyati. Al-Din Ali ibn Muhammad al-Kilati Hanafi, wrote Surat of al-Kilati. Sheikh Zahir al-Din ibn Muhammad Ghazaruni. Abu al-Faraj ibn al-Jazi, wrote books on Sira such as al-Wafa by Awal al-Mustafa and Sharif al-Mustafa actual full title of books, Uyan al-Hikayat fi Sirat Sayyid al-Bariya. Ibn Kathir, wrote al-Sira al-Nabawiya Ibn Kathir. Abu Rabi Sulayman ibn Musa al Khalai compiled a book titled, Aktifa fi Maghazi al Mustafa wal Kulafa al Thalatha. Ibn Sa'id al Naz wrote Uyan al Athar. Qadi e Yad wrote the famous Ash Shifa, al Shifa by Ta Rif Hukuk al Mustafa, healing by the recognition of the rights of or news of the chosen one. Zayn al Din Iraqi was a teacher of Ibn Hajar and he wrote Sira Manzuma. Al Castellani, his book on Sira is Al Mawahib al Ladaniya. Al Zarqani wrote a commentary on the Al Mawahib al Ladaniya by Castellani, and it was called Al Zarqani. Al Allama Burhanuddin al Halabi wrote Surah al Halabiya. Al Mawardi wrote I Lam al Nubuwa. Abd al Haq al Muhadith al Dalawi wrote Madarij al Nubuwa. Mullah Nuruddin Jami wrote Shawahid al Nubuwa. Al Adarusi wrote Nur al Safir. Bajori wrote Shar al Mawahib al Laduniya. Ibn Abdul Bar wrote al Durr fi Iktisar al Maghazi was Sayyar. Ibn Hajar al Haytami wrote Ashraf al Wasayil ila Faham al Shamail. Ibn Mulakan wrote Gayat al Sul fi Qasais al Rasul. Ahmad Sirhindi al Faruqi wrote Ithbat al Nubuwa. Ibn Diya wrote Nihaya al Sul fi Qasais al Rasul. Jalaluddin al Suyuti wrote al Qasais al Kubra, al Qasais al Sugra, and Shamail al Sharifa. Abd al Ghani al Makdisi wrote al Dura al Mudiyah. Muhammad ibn Yusuf al Salihi al Shami wrote Subal al Huda wa al Rashad fi Surah Kare al Ibad. Nuruddin Ali ibn Ahmad al Samhudi wrote Kalasa al Wafa by Akbar dar al Mustafa. Abu al Qasim Abdur Rahman al Sahali wrote al Rad al Anf fi Shar al Sarah al Nabawiya li ibn Hisham. Izadin ibn Badruddin ibn Jama A al Kanani wrote al Muqtasar al Kabir fi Sarah al Rasul. Mufti Asif Adin Nadwi Qasmi wrote Aasan Sirat un Nabi. Topic: 19th century Bush, George, 1831. The Life of Muhammad, Founder of the Religion of Islam and of the Empire of the Saracens. 
J. and J. Harper. Gustav Weil, Mohammed der Prophet, Sein Leben und Sein Lehr, Stuttgart, J. B. Metzlerchen Buchhandlung, 1843. Alois Sprenger, The Life of Muhammad, from Original Sources, Allahabad, The Presbyterian Mission Press, 1851. William Muir, The Life of Muhammad and History of Islam to the Era of the Hijra, London, Smith, Elder and Co., 1858 to 1861, four vols. Several later editions with slightly different titles. Alois Sprenger, Das Leben und die Lehre de Muhammad, Nach Bischer Grotenteils unbenutzten Quellen, Berlin, Nikolai Schwerlagsbuchhandlung, 1861 to 1865, three vols. A revised second edition was published in 1869. Theodor Noldick, Das Leben Mohammeds, Nach den Quellen Popular Dargestel, Hanover, Karl Rumpler, 1863. Topic: <laughs> Modern Biographies, 1900 CE, Present. Muhammad Hussein Haikal, The Life of Muhammad in Arabic, 1933, with English translation by Ismail Raji A. al Faruqi. Andre, Tor. Muhammad, The Man and His Faith. Dover. ISBN 0 486 41136 2. William Montgomery Watt, Muhammad at Mecca and Muhammad at Medina, 1953 and 1956, Oxford University Press. Alfred Guillaume, Ibn Ishaq, The Life of Muhammad, a translation of Ishaq Surat Rasul Allah, with introduction and notes, Oxford University Press, 1955, ISBN 0-19-636033-1. Maurice Godfroy de Mombines, Muhammad, Paris, Editions Albin Michel, 1957. Maxime Rodinson, Muhammad, Paris, Editions du Soy, 1960, also translated into English, 1961. Muhammad Hamidullah wrote four books on Sira, Muhammad Rasulullah, a concise survey of the life and work of the founder of Islam 1979, the Prophet of Islam, Prophet of Migration 1989, the Prophet's establishing a state and his succession 1988, Battlefields of the Prophet Muhammad 1992. Martin Ling's Muhammad: His Life, based on the earliest sources, London: Islamic Text Society, 1983. ISBN 9780042970424. Karen Armstrong: Muhammad: A Biography of the Prophet, London: Victor Gallants Limited. 1991, and Muhammad, A Prophet for Our Time, New York, Harper Collins, 2006. Sheikh Muhammad Iqbal, The Life and Mission of Muhammad, PBUH, first volume out of five of the History of Islam and Muslims, 1992. Sayyid Hossein Nasser, Muhammad, Man of God, Kazi Publications, 1995. ISBN 978-1-56744-501-5. Ali al Salabi, The Noble Life of the Prophet, Riyadh, Darussalam Publishers, 2005, 3 vols. Allama Syed Saadat Ali Qadri, Yan e Alam, Soul of the Worlds, 2006. 
Robert Spencer, The Truth About Muhammad, Founder of the World's Most Intolerant Religion Washington, Regnery Publishing, 2006. Adil Salahi, Muhammad, Man and Prophet, A Complete Study of the Life of the Prophet of Islam Lester, Islamic Foundation, 2012. Leslie Hazelton, The First Muslim, The Story of Muhammad New York, Riverhead Books, 2013. Tara MacArthur, Unsheathed, The Story of Muhammad CreateSpace Independent Publishing Platform, 2016-2018. ISBN 978-1541271821. Biographies missing date of publication Dr. Muhammad Asadullah al Ghalib wrote Nobider Kahini, the most reliable collection in Bangla, based on the glorious Quran and authentic Hadith. Sayyid Muhammad Alawi al Maliki al Maki wrote Muhammad Rasulallah. Professor Muhammad Tahir al Qadri wrote Sarah al Rasul, 14 volumes, largest collection in Urdu. Asad Muhammad Sa id al Sagarji wrote Muhammad Rasulallah. Yusuf al Nabani wrote Fadail al Muhammadiyya, al Anwar al Muhammadiyya, and Shawahid al Haq. Pir Muhammad Karam Shah al Azari wrote Zia al Nabi. Shibli Namani wrote his famous five volume book Surat an Nabi in Urdu with the help of his disciple Syed Sulayman Nadvi. The book was translated in English by M. Tayyab Bash Budayuni, ISBN 978-81-7151-282-9. Syed Sulayman Nadvi wrote Muhammad the Ideal Prophet and Muhammad the Prophet of Peace translated by Rauf Luther. Khwaja Shamsuddin Azimi, wrote Muhammad ur Rasulullah in four volumes. Abul Hassan Ali Nadwi wrote Muhammad Rasulullah. Naeem Siddiqui wrote Muhammad the Benefactor of Humanity. Ahmed Didat wrote Muhammad the Greatest and Muhammad the Natural Successor to Christ. Jamal Badawi wrote Muhammad A Blessing for Mankind, a short biography and commentary. Safiur Rahman Mubarakpuri wrote R Rahik al Maktam, The Sealed Nectar, online link. Khalid Masood wrote Hayat e Rasul e Ummi in Urdu, translated as The Unlettered Prophet by Sadia Malik. Maulana Wahiduddin Khan wrote Prophet of Revolution Maulana Syed Shahabuddin Salfi Ferdowsi wrote Sirat e Badr ud Duha. See also Sahifa Hamam ibn Munabi List of Muslim historians List of Islamic texts <laughs>